okay, this is my Bandai 12 inch. I'm thinking it's 12 inch because it's supposed to be 12 inch, but it looks like an 11 inch figure as far as I'm concerned, or 10 inches based on the how stubby the, the feet are and how much it tilts. This is the Bandai 12 inch Mecha Godzilla Kiyu from the movie Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla Tokyo SOS. So, I don't have, I haven't bought the X Plus. I'm probably going to do that because based on, on, uh, just figure, uh, movie accuracy, figure accuracy that I was looking for, this really doesn't do it much for me. But let's just take a look at the big guy where he's, uh, I'm going to do some figure co comparisons, of course, but, I mean, I really don't have much of a collection right now yet. I'm still kind of in the middle of it, and I'm a big X Plus fan, and I like X Plus. It's just really expensive. So, you guys give me, um, and I'm not probably not going to act like a complete idiot in this figure. It just depends on because I'm just really spontaneous. You know, I, I'm a non-alcoholic. I'm definitely not a drug addict. But I'm just really spontaneous and goofy. But I decided for this review, I'm probably not going to be doing that. Just a bit because I'm more of a, a improvision guy. So, anyways, let's get on with the review. Okay, this is the 12 inch Kiyu Mecha Godzilla. Take a look at this guy. He looks awesome. I mean, for Bandai, I'm not a big fan of Bandai. They don't do a whole lot of big figures that I know of. But. Based on the size of this guy, I actually bought this guy for uh, my nephew when he was younger. And I got this guy on eBay, so there's no box unboxing of this or of any kind. Because I just, to me, unboxing is just, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, it doesn't tickle my fancy. So, okay, let, let's take a look at uh, the, we're going to start with the head, our t face. You look at the face very closely all right if you could see I would have to, I, I just got done watching those two movies again including Mecha Godzilla 2 from 1993 which is a completely different mecha uh, of this of this kaiju but I don't know I was just really before I did this I just got this figure yesterday actually no actually this morning it was I got it pretty quick I bought it on eBay for about 50 bucks, really, and and I basically I got what I paid for. I should have paid less than this, but based on because the stuffiness of this guy, if you really look at this guy, I'm gonna try to point my camera down a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, if you look very closely at the at the bottom of the of uh, the screen, because I wanna. Show you guys the negatives of this figure, really, first before I really actually do the. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. He's kind of he's kind of slanted to the side, like he's doing a pose where he's he's kind of just standing to to the side, like he's about to start walking. But I don't understand why Bandai. Maybe it's the figure I bought. I don't know, but nobody really points this out. That his legs are not evenly positioned, so he's kind of like, like he's gonna fall over or something. And his position where he's standing, it looks kind of stubby to me. And so that's really the the other negatives for me is just the tail is not long enough like it was in the movie. In the movie, the tail is pretty awesome. And Mecha Godzilla actually uses his tail on the film to to repel Godzilla to do some pretty awesome moves, uh, uh, attacks on Godzilla. But it, and I think it's it's also uh, just like I seen in another video. It's for because kids buy this. Uh, well, kids don't buy this stuff. What am I talking about? Your parents, we buy this stuff. <laughs> oh, what is this? When I have a kid, anyways. But. Um, it you know the it the tail is too small. It looks I honestly the paint job is just like just like the X plus figures that I've seen online and, and I've actually bought a one X plus figure so far because I'm gonna be getting um oh I wanna, I wanna tell you guys I was supposed to do the Bothra 
adult mocker and mock larva review a while back. I didn't do it because this is what, let me tell you guys what happened. I basically got, I got, uh, uh, cheated out of a tool, uh, out of a, a figure. I guess the guy supposedly forgot to, uh, do the order to send the, the figure to me. So I ended up having to report it, uh, that I never got the figure. And eBay's really cool when it comes to, uh, buyers, us the buyers. And they're not, and, and it's very well known that eBay does not give the sellers the, uh, the benefit of the doubt. So, uh, that's why I didn't do Mothra. I'm gonna do, when I do actually buy Mothra Adult and buy a much larger Mothra Larva, it's gonna be X Plus probably. You know, because I really, I'm really an X Plus guy. This is, I'm an X Plus size guy. No, I'm, I'm fat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. Anyways, um, all right, let's look at, take a look at the the legs. We're gonna take a look at the 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 feet are pretty awesome and it looks very movie accurate to a certain point. I would have to take a look at the mecha. See if you guys can see how I'm pointing. I'm posi positioning the figure. You can still see that because of the pose, it's tilted. It's kind of tilted to sideways, like it's gonna fall over. And you can see the circuits. The circuits are are kind of. Um, Black, uh, you can see the circuits come sticking out of the uh, several parts of the figure, including this, the top side of the leg right here. And you can see it looks, I think it looks awesome, but compared to what I'm gonna get eventually, the X plus, uh, uh, Q, uh, Mecha Godzilla, I, this is really just, to me, it's, it's not a knockoff, but it's just less than perfect. So, Let's take a look at the legs more. Okay, you can see all the de the detail. You see, the original Mecha Godzilla had missiles for a uh, more um, they weren't sharp. Uh, you couldn't see the sharpness of his of his uh, nails. They were actually missiles that shot out from his feet. But on the movie, there's nothing like that on on uh, this new design, anyways. So, all right, if, uh, we're gonna go up more towards the where. He, he shoots the absolute zero gun on the movie, which is so awesome. It looks pretty awesome. I think it that's probably one of my favorite parts of the film in both of the uh, the the two films where he's on there, where he's on. And uh, okay, let's take a look at the. I'm gonna turn him around. Take a look at him from this point. And okay, all right, yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, yeah, really cool. And this guy is, I mean, if you're looking for a giant size figure this, and you don't really want to spend a lot of money, I would go for this guy. This is right now with the kind of money I have, just don't have that kind of money. I'm not going to be wasting uh, uh, from eating and uh, not paying my rent buying this stuff. I mean, I can only do it to a certain point anyways. All right, we're going to turn him around. You can see his leg, his tail, and we're going to put his... You can see his legs from the back, and it's very good detail. Okay, and then you see the spikes. The spikes are, like I said, I would have to watch the film again. You can see the spikes. It looks very, to me, it's very movie accurate, but you got, you know, I I would have to watch the movie again. I just saw it yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, okay, like, okay, let's go up towards his, uh, once again, let's look at the arms. There's, uh, as far as articulation-wise, the only thing it only it has maybe two points of articulation. The arms move; they kind of move. They're very. What I like about what I like about my figures, I expect them to be stiff like this, but still be movable. And you could rotate his kind of rotate his waist back and forth a little bit, like you know, getting ready to fight Godzilla or is in the heat of battle with some other kaiju. Anyways. Yeah, this is more of a decorational piece if you're for sentimental value, really, because you know I, I probably I'll probably give it away. I mean, I I get my nephew will probably take it for sure. This is what I was gonna do to begin with because I like I said I want a good figure. This is not an awful figure. I've seen worse. I've seen a bunch of knockoff Mecha Godzilla Kiyu figures uh, online, uh, you know, for a whole lot more money than I paid this guy. So okay, let's take a look. It's, uh, the spikes on the along all along the back. It looks really awesome. I love the way 
They really would. I think they really did a. Uh, uh, it this really pays homage to the kaiju. And let's go to turn them around like that so you guys can see the spikes. Okay, yeah. Looks really cool. And you can see the little jet, uh, the, the little uh, rocket propellers that help him uh, fly in the movie because he actually, the X Plus version, there's a, you know, and, and, and even the SA, Mon whatever you, H, SH Monster Arts has the jet packs and uh, the extra accessories. And okay, now we're going to look at, we'll go towards the head again, and you can see, as you can see, the teeth. The teeth are very, I love what they did with the teeth. It looks really good. I think it looks, I like the way it looks, to be honest with you guys. It looks really good. I think they did a really good job with that. And the, the eyes are very, uh, they're pretty good. The, and you can see the the top of the, uh, the horn that sticks out, the two horns. It has several horns on, on each side of the head. And it looks really awesome. It looks really cool. It, I, I mean, like I said, you, I still sometimes, I'll, yeah, I'll play with toys sometimes. Not, I'm not ashamed of saying that. But, you know, I'm an adult, man. I really don't play with toys anymore. But this guy really uh, was so cool. He's, he looks um, pretty movie accurate, to be honest with you guys. All right. All right, now I'm going to do some bigger comparison because I don't have a big collection. I'm not a billionaire. I can't buy all the stuff at once. So I'm going to do some... Okay, with this uh, Bandai, as you guys might notice, the figures are the same, you know, because I don't have a lot. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot yet. All right, the, this this is a Bandai 1968 version um, Godzilla, and as you can see, it towers over it, of course. But, you know, it looks, you know, Bandai, I love what they did with that. Anyway, all right, let's go with the... Supposedly 12 inch Pakuja from Pacific Rim. And it looks actually, it looks good. You could actually, see, you could actually see Mecha Godzilla going head to head with this guy. I think it looks cool. I think it would look, look really good. You, you could put it on your shelf or something with the other kaiju. And then, of course, there is my beloved X Plus. My X Plus. My only X Plus. <laughs> So far. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyways, it's uh, Guy Again 2004, uh, Mecha Guy Again from Godzilla Final Wars. And as you can see, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the bigger comparison. As you could see, you can, uh, let me try to put the camera towards a better angle so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It's slanted, and you and um, Guy Again looks taller. I think the way I positioned my camera, they look actually the same height it's because he's tilted he's kind of going to the side a little bit so guy again is actually taller than him if i put him up if i have him, uh stand up one foot he's actually a little bit taller than guy again 2004 so it looks they look really good together i mean it it looks pretty awesome if you really you know if you guys i mean any kid that would love would love these figures, honestly. But those of us that really know our kaiju real pretty well, you know, this is this is kind of like a step down a little bit. Uh, but it works for what it is. And of course, this old Imperial Godzilla, God, I said Godzilla. And as you can see, he is taller. He is definitely taller and uh, bulkier in some places. The head larger than the actual Mecha Godzilla. So. Okay, let's put him to the side like this, and you guys can see he he looks to be like at least 10 inches, but this figure is actually 13 inches tall, so it, it, of course it's got to tower over it a little bit. So let's put him a little bit closer, let's, let's try to have them face each other, and the head is of this figure is much bigger than the Mecha Godzilla. I kind of I like what they did with this figure. It's just not you know not big enough for me, but side again okay all right tell me what you think of this review and I, I yeah I know I didn't act like a complete dumbass like I usually do it's just I'm not gonna do that all the time <laughs> all right put please put a like below this video because this is this is I thought this was so good that I had to review it of course and I was intending 
I'm reviewing it on the spot because I got it this morning, guys, before I went to work. And uh, share this video, support this blog, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends about this blog. What do I offer on this channel? I offer you guys in awesome comprehensive blue reviews. Uh, I do my Godzilla reviews. I will be doing that, and I'll be reviewing Aquaman, of course, like I said, in Bubble Bee pretty soon, and uh, a whole lot more movies coming up. And I also do uh, a lot of improv, a lot of, a lot of comedy on this channel because I'm just no drugs required. I'm just really goofy. I mean, I'm just a really goofy guy. Just, I don't need drugs to, to entertain anybody. I'm just naturally stupid. <laughs> and subscribe. Tell your friends about this blog, man. This blog is awesome. I am the YouTube alternative. I am your reviewer. And I will see you guys real soon with the next review. And let's take one last look at Kiyu and... Before I sign up, I love the idea of what you know what they came up with him actually being the um, they used the the bones of the original Godzilla from 1954, and he's actually a ghost. He actually goes AWOL on one part, and he he looks a lot more like the the old Mecha Godzilla from the 70s on that part of the movie, and he actually has old feelings, and he's uh, Godzilla reacts to him 2000 uh, the 2003 Godzilla. Uh, Millennium acts to, reacts to him as because he's his own species. They're they're the same species, and of course later on he comes to fight him again. And that, I really like the idea because this the story part of this movie is actually when I do review it, but is actually was going to be called Godzilla versus Ghost Got Ghost Godzilla. Uh, the original draft of this film there was there was there's actually several drafts of this film uh, before it became of course Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla and later on Tokyo SOS. Okay, I will see you guys real soon for the next review and keep watching. Hit that notification bell. Por favor, please. Can you do that? And please tell your friends about this blog once again. And subscribe. Please. Bye.